We would like to appreciate our sponsors of RGV Stars. The Buhanda MC Collection. Buhanda MC Collection uniquely creates one-of-a-kind superior designs from gorgeous fabrics with intricate detail and color which produces clothing items of quality and value. We would also like to appreciate the Embassy Suites by Hilton for these amazing facilities uh, allowing us to film RGB stars for three seasons already. Thank you so much NBC Suites. Thank you to our sponsors. Welcome to another episode of RGV Stars live with Alex Travia and Isaac Medina, the premier platform for showcasing real Grand Valley talent and the RGV celebrities place to be. And we're on season three already. And today we have another outstanding guest, right Isaac? Yep, a very familiar face. I'm sure Hi everyone. Yes, <laughs> no need for introduction, but we have Dina Herrera Garza from Channel 5. We Five have to throw one. that in. Five there you go. One, right? We appreciate you taking the time to be here with us today. Well, thanks for inviting me here tonight. This is so exciting. Yeah, so, so happy to have today you. Today our viewers will get to know a little bit more about you and your background, your career, uh, obstacles, achievements, future goals, anything that you want to share. So first of all, tell us a little bit about yourself, like maybe where you're from, your education, anything you want to share. Okay, well, I'm pretty much an open book. I am from Edinburgh born and raised and i still live there i still call wow. edinburgh my home the entire valley is my home quite honestly you know it's yes. my extended family but for all my life i've lived in edinburgh and um i went to school there graduated there what school edinburgh high, school. high. Edinburgh I'm, high a so Bobcat. I'm a cougar by the way <laughs> really yes okay. i'm a cougar <laughs> that's awesome no but it's great i mean you know there's a lot of pride in Edinburgh, mm. and there's nothing like bobcat pride. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wait Same till for we... cougars. There you go. <laughs> so, uh, you know, um, I went to school here. I graduated. Then I started off at UTPA. I know it's UTRGV now, but back in the day it was UTPA, and I did my basics there, and then I ended up transferring out. I ended up going to... Uh, it's no longer Southwest Texas State. It's now Texas State University in San Marcos. They're just changing all the names. <laughs> They're changing all the names on me, exactly. It actually shows how old I am. <laughs> hey, they changed the name on me, too. I, I went to UTRGV. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, so we're good. We're good. Okay. <laughs> and then that's where I got my degree in uh, mass communications, specializing in broadcast journalism. Wow. So it's been it's been great. And you've been yeah. on channel, channel 5 for how long now? Okay, so I have started my... 20th year wow. with Channel 5. This is my second go around. Okay, so I first started at Channel 5 back in 1996. Wow. I left for after two years and I did some PR jobs. I worked in the school districts at PSJ ISD, also at Edinburgh CISD. I worked in the public information office. And then I decided, you know what? I need to go back. I need to give it another shot. And so I went back. Here I am, 20 years later. Wow. Wow. Did you always know that you wanted to be on television? Was that the ultimate goal? Actually, it wasn't. <laughs> First of all, I have a love of politics and history. So my goal was to run a campaign. I was going to be a campaign manager. Wow. So uh, I was actually in my poli-sci class there at UTPA. And we were having some very lively debates in the class and stuff. And uh, I remember my professor at the end of one of them, at the end of class, he comes to me and he says, you know, I could really see you doing the news. And it wasn't until he planted that seed. And I said, well, maybe I could do the news. And so if it wasn't for Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan. Yeah, my poli-sci professor, if it wasn't for him, I probably wouldn't be here today. <laughs> wow. And uh, if our viewers would want to tune in, when can they see you on Channel 5? Okay, you can see me every day, Monday through Friday, on Channel 5 News at noon and Channel 5 News at 6. Okay. Awesome. So I've been doing awesome. that for the last four years. But prior to that, I was on the morning show. And I was there for 15 plus years. So anybody who's ever done a morning newscast, 
you know you're working overnight, right? So I'm working like one o'clock in the morning to two, three, and I don't finish until one o'clock at noon. Wow. So it was a very long shift for many, many years. Wow. But it's been great. The journey has been wonderful. Awesome. It was worth it. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> so tell us how important family was in supporting your career on television. Oh, my goodness. Without my family, without my family, I would not be able to do what I do. I mean, they have been so supportive, starting off with my husband. That's my, number one. You yes. gotta thank, you know. <laughs> you know, I, I mentioned I was on the morning show mm -hmm. for all those years. I had two babies on the morning show, okay? My kids, 17 and 14, right now. But, you know, when they were little bitty babies, he would have to get them ready, and then he would take them to daycare. All this to help me do the job that I love. Very supportive. Wow. He was always very That's supportive. Awesome. And then when it came time to school, you know, getting to school, obviously I wasn't there. I was doing the morning newscast, so I couldn't get them ready for school. So he did it every day, making sure that they were ready to go. They had their books, their backpack, everything, and they could get to school on time. So he was wonderful. And then, of course, as you know, when you have a family, you have uh, kids who are very active and involved in minor in sports, they're in cheer, basketball, tennis, you name it. So if it weren't for my sisters, my niece, my parents, they help drive my kids to and from practice. Wow. I mean, it has really been... It uh, takes a village. <laughs> it takes a village. Exactly. I am all in with that yeah. saying because it really does. Without my family, I just would not be able to do all the things that I'm able to do, and they have been absolutely wonderful. And I'm sure they're very proud to see you on TV, right? <laughs> uh, not I, my mom, she's pretty yeah. proud. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she's my biggest and again, fan, and my dad. Again, yes. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, I'm a mom too. So yes. anything my kids do, I'm like, ah, mijita, mijita. What do you think has been your biggest achievement so far, professionally, and and the biggest obstacle okay. you have to overcome? Well, let's see. Professionally, I would have to say it's just the fact that I've been in this business as long as I've been in it. You know, for more than 20 years, it's not easy. Uh, it's rewarding, it's wonderful. Uh, we put on what I think a really great product. And we work very hard every single day to inform the public, inform our neighbors about what's happening in their own backyards. And we take a lot of pride in that. And it's not easy. Mm -hmm. And so the fact that I've been able to do it for as many years as I've had, it's been wonderful. It's been absolutely wonderful. Plus, you know, we have so many talented people at Channel 5. And you really got to up your game to be with them, you know. Mm -hmm. you know We've interviewed you, Tim Smith You got before. Tim Smith, <laughs> the living like, legend, right? Yes. I mean, he the is the man. The goat. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So you've got Oscar Adame, you know, uh, so many of us who've been there for so, so many years. And it's just, it's been a privilege, it's an honor. And getting an, a Lone Star Emmy, we have five. I have five oh, of them wow. for best newscast the morning show and the new newscast and it's just been wonderful it really has and you also now have like a, a version in Spanish right of the news yes, yes we have Azteca Azteca yes by Azteca excellent what about the obstacle was it juggling everything oh my gosh before? yes just juggling motherhood yeah. juggling family life juggling schedules it's not easy you know juggling the career you know because we want it mm -hmm. all yeah. And I'm no different from anybody else. And if you do want it all, it's going to have to take a lot of uh, sacrifice, a lot of give and take. But, you know, as I mentioned earlier, the fact that I've had such a wonderful, supportive family has helped me do all of these wonderful things. And that goes the same for them. You know, if my husband needs me to be somewhere, the great thing about Channel 5 is that they always work with all of us. And they're like, yes, we understand. They're understanding, they're, understanding they're flexible, and they're like, we understand. You know, if your family needs yeah. you for this, go ahead. You know, That's good. That's just awesome. at the same time, you know, if we have big coverage, like the winter storm that we just had, yeah. you know, or if we had a hurricane, 
I can't be there with my family. I've got to be there to cover the news, to make sure that we're informing the public about what's happening, letting them know, you know, everything that they need to know to either be safe and make sure that uh, they have everything that they need for events like that. Well, is, is there a moment that's just so memorable for you? Like, you know, in, in work or an event that happened that you would just probably never forget? That I'll never forget, well, yes, when I had my children. Oh, okay. <laughs> it, it, it's really, you know, yeah. focused on the family and the fact that they've been such a support system for oh, you and yeah. your career. Well, you know, family is so important. It is number one. Yes, yeah, that's great. Uh, you know, my marriage is also very, very important. And uh, my career, my career, everything. But like I said, it takes everyone yes. to make it happen. What advice would you give to our viewers in case they would want to follow your footsteps and, and become a TV host, a journalist? What can they do first? What can they do? Well, I'd say never give up. You know, it's not easy. Uh, you get a lot of no's before you get a yes, you know, when you're trying things out. But don't be afraid to try things either. You know, and it's okay if you fail. If you fail, you know, we learn so much from our failures. We know what to do the next time. We know how to get prepared for our next interview if it doesn't work out. But the thing is, is that go for it. You know, I tell everybody, you got to go for it. Awesome. Is it recommended for them to get a degree? Yes. Yes. Yes, definitely. You know, stay in school. I mean, that's the one thing that is so important because your education, it's an investment in you. I mean, no one can ever take that away from you, ever. Awesome. You know, uh, what about future goals? You know, I know you've been, you're, you're a legend in the game just like Tim Smith, and, <laughs> and you've been, you're so recognizable, but where do you see yourself now in the next five to 10 years from now? Well, hopefully still at Channel 5. There you go. <laughs> in five years, yes, hopefully at Channel 5. But, uh, you know, in 10 years, I, st I see myself giving back. You know, I always feel that it's very important because in addition to what I do, I'm also involved in different organizations or foundations throughout the years that I've worked. And I just feel it's important, you know, volunteer, give back to the community. One of the things that I like to do is raise money for student scholarships. It's really important because you know what it's like to go to school. It's not easy. It's expensive. And... If we didn't have people helping us, maybe we wouldn't be sitting here today. That's exactly right. Yes. And that's what I want to do. I want to help kids reach their full potential. And sometimes they just need that little scholarship, that little mm -hmm. push. There you go. To Excellent. get them uh, going and motivated and let them know that, yes, I can do this. If I can do this, you can do this too. Very good advice. Very good advice. Uh, where can our viewers find you on social media? At krgv.com. There you go. <laughs> okay, there you go. That's easy enough. Or you can email me at dina at krgv.com. There you go. <laughs> Any closing awesome. message or remark for our viewers? I just want to say thank you to everyone out there. I mean, it has been a privilege, such an honor to uh, work at Channel 5 and quite honestly, to work in this business for as many years as I have. And it's all because of our viewers. You know, the Valley truly is an extended family. And each and every day, they have welcomed me into their homes. And it means so much to me. I mean, so much to me. Uh, again, I can't say it enough. It has been an honor. It's been a privilege. And I wouldn't be sitting here today without all of you. So I really appreciate it. It means the world to me. Thank you awesome. so much, Dina, and it means a lot to us that you were here today with us with your busy schedule uh, to inspire our viewers and to share your story. Thank mm -hmm. you so much. It's been Thank a pleasure you having you, Dina. Thank you. We appreciate your time. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank awesome. you. Guys, that's been another episode of RGB Stars with Alex Travia and Isaac Medina, the premier platform for showcasing Real Grand Valley talent and the RGB celebrities place to be. And this is also our season finale, the last episode that's right. of season three. So next time we'll see each other in season four. Thank you for watching. Don't forget. Bye guys.